what's up guys this is the last of the three videos of this series on calibrating TPS uh, temperature sensor and now it's gonna be the AFR I got a AM AFR uh, usually you're gonna have whatever um, I have another AFR here that I don't like so I'm not gonna show you but um, you either have a list of the values so you have all of them zero uh, votes how many what's the AFR that is corresponding to that and then all the way to five votes or you're gonna have just zero is uh, nine and five votes is 19.99 so we are going to uh, work with that now I'm gonna show you how it works how I did and I'm also gonna show you right now my AEM which is somewhere in here uh, all the values I got from my AEM so check this out this is the AEM uh, what is my model again well if you have the same model just hit me up and I'll send you the uh, INI value but it is oh gosh it's like 14111 um, so I mean if you have an AM you, you won't have a problem you just open your manual and you're gonna see here votes and then you see zero votes and there's a range of values all the way to 499 and then you're gonna see are you use, using lambda uh, gasoline methanol propane ethanol and whatever right so if you go to gasoline you see zero is 10 and then you have all the values with all these values C499 is 19.98 uh, and that's pretty much it with all those values I went to a, I went to um, a text editor and create this INI file and that's what I load on my computer and that's um, how I know very accurately uh, how my uh, gauge is working all right as you see the boss just got in here check it out say hello kitty um this is the deal here you go to tools and you're gonna see a bunch of calibrate calibrate this calibrate that and you have a calibrate afr table so when you click in there uh you have two of those aem already so uh my model is 4111 and it's not quite in here i believe that they are mostly the same but i didn't i mean i don't know what the values are so instead of choosing those and if you have one of those you just choose this and write to controller right so you choose whatever um i'm saying those aem because i have an aem but if you have a daytona twin tech uh, you just write to the controller basically it's gonna be I mean mostly the same It's gonna be zero is gonna be nine and five is going to be 19.99 or, or you know 20 um, so basically what I did is um, you scroll down you have a custom INC file um, and when you click in there you browse and you find your file if you go back on a couple of my videos uh, what the last video actually was to calibrate this other uh, thermistor sensor which is a thermal sensor with for the coolant and manifold and I show how to do the same thing uh, but basically for the AFR you open a text editor and you have a comment so you hear I'm saying what is this for and first column and second column so I know first column is votes and second colors column is AFR and as you saw on the table I showed you before that came from the AM um, I know that those values are like this so I copy one by one um, which sucked but you know uh, it is there so for 0.99 is 19.98 and you know zero and I added value by value so you can do that the only thing is you got to do tab between the values <coughs> excuse me my cat goes outside and then he rolls into his stuff and then he comes back home <coughs> it's it's almost like uh, 
it's allergies in in fur but it's super cute so i can't can't say no to him um but yeah so once you have your ini file uh, you can go in here and do that you know just load calibrate afr table select this here usually is the last option and then browse file find where the files are um, that you created and then um, you just write to the controller of course I'm in my office I cannot write to the controller because my ECU is in my car so once you write to the controller it takes a while this bar here goes all the way to the end and you're happy and good to go so what that gives you let me show you really quick I'm going to uh, open my let me see how I open my project so if I open this here and <clears throat> I'm gonna grab one of my logs so those are logs that I, I keep making as I drive so you see here I have tuning AFR I'm gonna show this in a new video but this is my AFR table this is what I aim uh, what I'm aiming for and I'm not calculating anything but by hand I want this to be very close so um, when I'm driving and when I'm here for example that I have throttle pressed 100% um, and then here I have my RPM going up and here I have all everything that's happening to my engine I know what is my AFR and I know what is my goal AFR so this way I know if I'm running lean, if I'm running rich, and I can uh, correct it. So it's very important that this is very accurate. The temperature, yes, is important, but this thing here needs to be very accurate. So pay attention on the AFR. Don't cheap out on the AFR. I suggest to buy AEM. Some people like something else, but um, yeah, I, I guess, I mean, good brands will have good, good, of good, uh, um, AFR gauges, um, which comes with, uh, Bosch, whatever number it is, but yeah, that's pretty much, you see here when I go all the way high on boost, right? Um, I can't lean out up here and I need to be sure that this here, it says 10 point oh man I, I keep doing this uh, it says 10 point something um, I need to believe that because I'm gonna lean out a little more right until we reach 11 or 11 2 11 5 but around closer to 11 2 uh, if this if I cannot trust this value and I try to uh, lean out a little more and is already lean then pow pow engine i might i might poke a hole on my cylinder so just uh things to consider and that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this uh this video i hope you enjoyed the series of three videos of uh how to calibrate this i tried to make them very very quick uh which is not usual for me because i never know what is enough information uh but yeah i'm pretty sure those those three they're too short and sweet so that was cute anyway uh, don't forget to leave a little comment here if you have anything to say if you need a hand or anything um, you know how it works just make a comment I'll be glad to answer as fast as I can um, forgive me again I'm I'm recording using a GoPro I'm actually kind of impressed um, I thought it was bad but it's actually very good the only bad thing is I can't see myself so I don't know what I'm recording. I don't know if you can see my face, you know. Uh, but subscribe to my channel. There's a bunch of videos coming uh, for this car. I mean, this is going to be more enjoying now than making anything. I'm going to make some stuff uh, carbon fiber. I don't know. If I get crazy, I'm going to make uh, this hood out of carbon fiber. But uh, for now, I'm just, I have plans to do something inside. There's a new car coming to the channel. It's going to be here in December. Uh that's gonna be sweet so i actually need to open a space in the garage because it's a car that can't be outside um and anyway that's pretty much it don't forget to leave a little um like and subscribe and whatever i forgot and check out my website car mods garage 
and love you guys and I'll catch you later look past my face see status I'm eating some mac